Hey everybody, this is Eeyore. Today we'll be talking about OSL in Blender. OSL stands for Open Shading Language, and in Blender it's used for making custom shaders like the diffuse and principal shaders we use every day. Now, the reason this is important is that it can be used for procedural texturing. Let's have an example. A common way is to use multiple texture layers. A color texture, displacement maps, and bump maps can all be combined to create a fairly realistic texture. The downfall to this is that the textures are always repeating, and in the case of a very large surface, can make the repeating pattern look disconcerting. Another way to create a floor is the use of the object randomizer output. It's great for creating variegated color and wood flooring, but each panel on the floor has to be a separate object. In the case of a floor, it's not such a big deal, as each strip of floor is probably only one face. However, when it comes to things like making each plank different lengths, it can get a little more complicated. Now, let's talk about procedural texturing for a second. A procedural texture is created mathematically. This means no pre-made diffuse map, bump maps, or pattern maps. Everything is created on the fly at render time. The point is that patterns can be created with some random elements so that they are no longer repeated. In the case of our wood floor, it means repeating patterns are a thing of the past. It also means the randomization of things like color can be done without the use of additional geometry in Blender, meaning you can get the entire floor texture on a single face. Now the floor example is fairly basic and for the most part can be done with Blender's shaders. But let's say you need something a little more complicated, or a little more specific, or something you need a little more control over. OSL is the way to go. If this is the case, why isn't OSL more widely used in Blender? Well, it's complicated. I mean, literally, it can be a complicated language, especially if you have no programming experience. Describing the texture mathematically is no small feat, and it's not well integrated into Blender yet, giving you no texture preview unless it's rendered. One more reason is that another almost identical language has been around for decades, named GLSL. GLSL is so entrenched in the industry that most video cards support it. What you're seeing here involves no geometry. These are procedural textures projected onto a 2D surface. In fact, it can run these fully animated GLSL textures in real time in my browser. Even this Mario level is an entirely procedural scripted texture. As of 2019, to my knowledge, no GPU supports OSL. This is a bad news, good news situation, however, because much of the math that needs to be solved for your problems has already been done by the GLSL community. Well, I hope this video encourages more people to use OSL in Blender. And if you liked this video, you can click the like icon. Or not, because I don't care.